Hey everyone, Cujo here from Cujo Clips. My wife got me a early birthday present, Cujo Clips. So I have to have my shameless plug for, for my YouTube channel. Um, check it out. Uh, hopefully you enjoy some of the content I try and put on there to clarify some things about aviation and flying. Um, so subscribe if you want and uh, that'd be great. Uh, so I thought I would come out here today, and uh, I just recently was frustrated in that I was trying to figure out how to use all the doodads on my new plane here, and I was, um, I, I'm still kind of getting used to how to control the autopilot and how to use it properly. There's a lot going on there that I haven't had in previous airplanes. So I figured I'd do a quick video on some of the basics of using the KFC-150 autopilot. So um, come up with me and we'll go do some climbs and descents and see how this all works. Let's see, let's, it's bumpy. So let's say we want to climb up probably 4,500. Okay, so let's go. Here you see on my uh, altitude pre-select, we'll go ahead and we'll select 4,500. Okay. Three, four, zero, Let's say we want. Tiger wing five sixteen. Right now we're on heading. Clear to land. One three four zero five. No need for the report. Let's say. Clear to land. Runway. We want to go up at. Alpha as you enter the left downwind, extend downwind. You'll be following traffic. Eight hundred feet per minute. Entering the four mile final. Report when you have traffic in sight. Huh? Extend downwind. Four layer alpha. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to throttle it up a bit. So that we can climb. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to engage the vertical speed. So hopefully you can see that. We hit engage. And you can see that we are climbing at about 800 feet per minute. And it gives me an alert because we're 1,000 feet from our set altitude. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this off and I'm going to say arm. And let's see if it captures that 4,500 because the arm should tell it to capture whatever the pre-select altitude is. So let's see how this works. We're at 4,000 feet now. Cessna 518, extend down when you're number three following Cessna about three miles ahead of you in the extended left downwind report traffic in sight. All right, extending downwind, we're number three if we're looking for them, and we'll make this next one a full stop, 518. Copy. Let's see here, we're getting close to 4,500. Oh, see it says captured. Okay, so it knows we're getting close to 4,500. And you see it's starting to bleed off the vertical speed. Okay. So there we have it. It hit 4,500. So now it has switched to altitude hold mode. So now, here we are holding at 4,500. Now let's say we want to go down to 3,500. Okay, I set my pre-select, 3,500. We'll do our vertical speed, go down to 700, and we'll engage. Okay. Wing 562, exit left, Bravo 4, Dialing that in. Left, Bravo 4, ground. Dagger wing 562. Okay, we are descending. So now I'm going to go back to pre-select and hit arm again. Wind 3306. Okay, so now it's going to try and capture the 3500. Okay, we're 
coming up to that uh, that altitude of 3,500. So let's see how that works. No capture yet. Okay, it says captured. Helicopter one like it blows Fox through Fox it a little bit. Fox That's interesting. Yeah, one nine nine Fox 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 showing nine point four thousand. Not bad. Yeah, one thousand one hundred. Like forty feet or so. And now we're back in altitude hold. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward, right? You can also, without vertical speed, you can just get it trimmed out for a particular pitch. And once you have a particular pitch you like, you can hit the arm button and it should hold that, that pitch. Okay, red button, cancels. Now there's a lot of things that cancel. Okay, trim. Trim also cancels. See, that kills it too. Traffic cable of 47 is clear to your northwest. You can also kill it momentarily with this switch. And one that's really irritating is um, I have my uh, free running HSI. If I want to adjust my HSI, yeah, that kills it too. So that's tricky because my HSI is a little slow. But you see, there's a lot of ways. There's a lot of ways to uh, kill the autopilot if you need to. Okay. Also, can pull the breaker. That's the last resort. And you could, you should be able to overpower it as well. 